I can't hear you. All right, we're recording. So thank you everyone for joining, joining us today, this evening, this afternoon, this morning, wherever you are. Um, today I'm excited to share with you some updates to the Berry Radical formula. Um, as I, I, uh, we've, we've had some challenges with sourcing um, the goji berry, getting a, getting a consistent good supply of the goji berry. So um, I found out about, um, I found out about a berry called Moki um, a couple of years ago, and uh, the, the the lack of or the, the challenge with um, sourcing the goji berry has given me that little space to to do an upgrade for Berry Radical. So we now have, um, instead of goji berry, we now have the amazing Moki berry that is spelt M-A-Q-U-I. If you want to look it up and do some research, it's freaking amazing. So it's actually, um, it's grown in Patagonia, which in the Patagonia region of Chile, um, where the indigenous Mapuche tribe, um, the Indians in Chile, have eaten the fruit there for many, many centuries. Um, and as with most fruits grown in the, uh, fruits and berries grown in the equatorial region, because um, you would be, if you've ever listened to my Berry Radical um, webinar or heard me talk about Berry Radical, you would know that Fruits and berries that are grown at very high altitude, especially near the equator where the sun's strength is the strongest, have the because they because it is the it's actually the the sun, it is the, the protective mechanism of the plant that puts all the antioxidants into the fruit to protect from the the damaging UV radiation and the high amounts of oxidative damage um, from the sun. So the, the, those equatorial um, high altitude uh, fruits and berries are off the charts in terms of antioxidant levels because they have to be so much stronger um, to protect themselves from the, from the extremely high level of ultraviolet radiation at, at the equator and at high altitudes. Uh, much more stronger than fruits and berries grown in the milder climates. Um, so this mocky berry is a deep, and I can't, because we're doing this um, format, I can't show you the beautiful picture, um, but it is a, a, a deep, deep purple, very dark purple little berry um, that is uh, wild harvested only once a year and it's freeze dried um, to retain, of course, the, you know, the highest amount of phytonutrients. So maki, um, like all of the other berries and the cacao in our berry radical, is a true, a true whole food supplement. It's not an extract. It is a, um, the berries are washed and frozen at uh, minus 35 degrees Celsius. They are then crushed and pureed and have their seeds removed. And then the fruit is freeze dried and ground into powder form. So, um, it's actually uh, a very, it's a whole food supplement. It's not, it's not a, a, a chemical extraction process. It's actually a whole food. Like all of our, all of our superfoods, we use food based nutrition, which is how our body has evolved to get its nutrients. Um, so the, the Moki, uh, if you do some research, you'll, there's, there's a, because there's a lot of people um, selling Moki berry, as an individual supplement. So there's heaps of information about how it's much more potent than goji berry and how it's four times more potent than acai berry and it's better than pomegranate and it's better, it's more antioxidants than blueberry and all this kind of stuff. Basically, you know, trying to say that it is the best berry, the most potent anti antioxidant berry um, on the planet, which is true, um, but as, we know if you've ever watched a very radical presentation, it is the having the rainbow. It's it's um, the the effect of um, a single uh, the antioxidant effect of a single 
um, fruit or berry is not as effective um, as a broad array of many different types of um, fruits and berries or many different types of antioxidants. So um, what I, I guess what I'm saying is that, yes, you will find information on the internet saying this is the best, Moki is the best, which research is showing that it is a very extremely high antioxidant berry, better than this and that. But um, that's not the point. The point is the research shows that it is a um, having the rainbow effect is where the body gets the most benefits. So it's, it's better for your body to have a smaller amount of a diverse range of foods than a high amount of one single food. So which is why uh, I've created the Berry Radical as a multiple of you know, many, many different uh, fruits and berries and cacao because that's where you, your body gets the benefits. So it's not just a single, um, a single product. But I'm very excited to have this single product in our formula. Um, and yes, it is the highest antioxidant uh, quantity of any of the berries on the market. Uh, and research shows that it's a very powerful anti-inflammatory and it contains um, very extremely high levels of polyphenols, which are a class of antioxidants, and a specific, a specific class called anthocyanins. And these anthocyanins are what give um, the berry its very purple, deep purple colour. Same with the blueberries and the acai berry. It, it's those anthocyanins, cyan being blue, um, it's the anthocyanins that, that, that give it the colour. So the anthocyanins are actually antioxidant flavonoids that protect many body systems um, and have some of the strongest physiological effects of any plant compounds. Um, so as I mentioned before, they are produced by plants for self-protection against the sun, against the irradiation, and also against um, fungal diseases and biological enemies like pests. For, for the plant. So they are actually a protective mechanism for the plant that are channeled into the fruits and berries of the plant. So lab research is showing us that anthocyanins um, have uh, a, a lot of very, very, very beneficial effects for the human biology. Number one, they reduce the coagulation of blood platelets, inhibiting the formation of blood clots involved in stroke, pulmonary embolism, peripheral vascular disease, and heart attack. So um, this is actually very beneficial. So it's reducing the coagulation of your blood, which is obviously not a good thing because that is a contributing factor to um, heart disease. Uh, they also, the anthocyanins, promote high levels of good cholesterol, the HDL, the high density lipoproteins, um, and they inhibit the oxidation of bad cholesterol. So th these, these polyphenols, are, they're all antioxidants, which is the, the, the main um, claim of very radical being an antioxidant. So um, inhibiting the oxidation of bad cholesterol is, is going to be very good for you, um, for your cardiovascular system. And of course, anthocyanins being um, antioxidants, they uh, neutralize free radicals in your body, which are, um, which, which are a contributing factor in many um, age-related diseases. Um, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, they are anti-inflammatory. So uh, anthocyanins down-regulate, which means suppress, down-regulate enzymes leading to inflammatory reactions that cause pa pain, so inflammation, um, pain, and also a lot of uh, inflammation is part of every degenerative disease, from cardiovascular disease to diabetes and arthritis. So basically any illness that um, ends with itis, uh, you know, pancreatitis, for example, inflammation of the pancreas, hepatitis, inflammation of the hepa, the liver, um, any... any uh, illness that ends with itis is an inflammatory disease. So having um, a, a food that has very potent anti-inflammatory properties is highly beneficial.
um, and the anthocyanins, <coughs> excuse me, the anthocyanins exhibit powerful anti-inflammatory activity and do as well as many of the drugs for the same purposes without the negative consequences and side effects. Um, so, but specifically, these mocky berries contain um, a high level of a specific anthocyanin called delphinidins, which are also found in violas, delphiniums, and um, concord grapes. Um, but in mucky berry, these compounds are um, unusually high. They're found in unusually high amounts. And the delphinidins demonstrate potent anti-inflammatory activity and help, of course, to reduce the risk of a variety of age-related degenerative diseases that involve inflammation, which we just talked about. Um, so the antioxidant compounds in mucky help to prevent oxidation of cholesterol in the blood which is preventing these um, preventing cholesterol um, and heart disease oxidation of cholesterol is a factor in the development of, in of a cardiovascular disease including heart attack stroke hardening of the arteries so um, having a, a, a supplement that contains mocky berry on a regular basis is a very smart investment for cardiovascular health um, interestingly, there's also research to show that the intake of mocky berry causes an increase of insulin in the body. In fact, mocky appears to do this better than any other known plant. But what does this mean? It actually means that consuming mocky berry or army can help suppress blood sugar levels, blood glucose, um, formation of new fat cells. Okay. okay. So as a result, mock may be uh, a beneficial aid in weight in weight loss it also, uh, is very has one these antibacterial to protect plant three hydroxy indole okay so three hydroxy indole is a part of the class of enzyme hydroxy indole 